All right, so now that we've checked out the outside, we're gonna check out the inside. First thing you probably notice is the uh, blind, custom made blind that the previous owner had. Uh, I took the rest of them down inside so that there'll be more light for the video, but we're thinking we'll probably go a slightly different direction just because it doesn't feel like it fits the overall vibe of the scamp interior. Uh, they added these custom Velcro bungees on the door for extra storage, uh, just for random knickknacks, sunscreen, bug spray, whatever else. That seems like a really good idea, so we'll probably keep those. Um, but yeah, let's head inside. So first thing, uh, we got the screen door right here that we can use on nice days but um one modification that the previous owners did do is put in a new floor which i really like i personally not a big fan of carpet um just with having a dog that'll be in here with us that sheds and allergies overall just ease of clean and just really like the look and feel of just a laminate flooring so yeah really like this modification that the previous owners did um, this floor plan, I don't know what layout it is, but we've got the front bunk up here that'll convert into uh, just a sofa, however we want to do that. Um, we got the fridge, cabinets, stove, and more storage up top with the sink. It is a two burner. Um, the sink has two setups, so this one on the right is if you're attached to a city line, and this one on the left, um, the previous owner actually took out the water tank in the back for this one, but it was a manual pump system, so I'm assuming somehow this pump would build up the pressure and then you could get water from your fresh water tank. He said they only ever used this one, and so they used uh, that tank area for extra storage. Um, since we are in the 13 and storage is obviously limited. Um, I don't know if these are standard or something he put in, but he's got these locks for uh, safety locks for when you're going down the road that you can put on on the fridge to keep it shut. Um, fridge looks really clean though. And obviously it was tested you know, prior to purchasing it. Uh, this cabinet is a custom job by the previous owner. The other one that he had broke, um, so he put this one in. Seems fine for now. We'll probably keep it, keep it and use it until we feel like doing something different. We're kind of planning on living out of here as is for maybe the first summer, kind of get a feel for the scamp and then maybe look at doing mods next year. So in the back we've got our uh, kitchen seating area. Nice flooring still. Um, this table was also made by the previous owner because the person that he purchased this scamp for, from, we are the third owners, um, the original owners took out the table and didn't keep it, so he did not have that for us. Oh, we got the storage up top with the uh, vent up in the ceiling. Nice windows. Something that my wife Alyssa and I both like is the newer um, bracket that they have going from the lower cabinets to the upper cabinets. Instead of just the spirals, it's got the nice looking tree, which we both really like. We've got our digital th thermostat for heat. If we're going anywhere cold. And then over here, um, we've actually got another nice mod that they did. So here we also have this um, clamp for when we're in, uh, when we're moving to keep that secure. Uh, but in here, you can see we've got a nice little storage rack, which provides a lot of extra storage. It'd be a really nice pantry to keep all our food in. And underneath here, Something that I'm gonna dig into. Um, you can lift that up and then that's where, this is another mod by the previous owner. He put in this AC unit um, to the outside. 
It looks like you were, did a really nice job. Obviously, we just got bare wood on the trim right now. I don't know if I'll stain that or do anything with that or just leave it as is. But again, we'll probably live out of it for now before we do anything like that. Yeah, and something cool, um, I guess, we learned is how easy this thing is to convert into a bed. So if you lift this up, all you have to do, it's hard to do this with one hand though, um, is that, that knob right there. Just gotta secure that thing up. And then move these cushions out of the way and set it down. So yeah, can even just barely do it with one hand. And then obviously the, the cushions are four pieces. So you got one piece, two pieces, the third, which is attached to that end. And then the fourth, again, attached to that end. Also, we have the fantastic fan set up to get a great breeze coming through here and through the window you can see our current tow vehicle which is our 2009 Volkswagen Turig and it pulls it like a dream so yeah that's the scamp that we picked up yesterday now it's time for me to get cleaning <laughs> 